In this video, I'm going to share with you how to load fonts locally on your WordPress website because if you have spent enough time looking at your site's Google PHP Insight Score, I think you may have noticed this. Now, I've mentioned this before in a lot of my PHP videos that as long as your page is loading stuff from a third-party source, it may slow down your page load speed and that goes for Google Fonts and that's why your site is flagged with this issue here. But do you know that is the least of your concern? I will explain to you why towards the end of the video and I will also share with you the truth behind the concern overloading fonts locally. So you definitely want to stick around to the end. Who knows, maybe you will change your mind and not load fonts locally. But anyway, let's focus on why you are here. You want to know how to load fonts locally. Now, there are many ways to load fonts locally. You can do it the manual way by downloading the Google font, converting it to a web font, and then loading it to your web host, and then using CSS codes to define the local font. And that's way number one. Number two is to install a plugin that will make the process seamless. And the third way is if your WordPress team has this functionality built into it. And if you are a business owner, a blogger, a manager, or you use a self-hosted WordPress site for your business, you don't want to waste your time doing it manually because it may take you about half a day or more to do this if you don't understand codes and all the backend stuff running on your site. So I will share with you the two other methods to load fonts locally, which is the plugin and the team. So let's go. Hey, this is Jack, and if this is your first time on my channel, I share a lot of WordPress Gutenberg content and tutorials, and my main focus is to help you get a 90 plus rating on Google PageSpeed Insights. And if that is your goal, then subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you won't miss any of my content. Anyway, let's go to the plugin I recommend for loading fonts locally. Let me go to this site that has this page. If you have been following my channel, you know how I created this from scratch. And if you are new to my channel and you want to know how I built this magazine style page, the link is on the top right, but don't go there yet. I've left the link in the description so you can go there later on. Anyway, let's go to the team customizer for this site. It is running on the Cadence team. And on the typography, let's load a bunch of Google fonts. On the base font, we can put this. The H1 font, we can put that. The H2 font, we can put that as well. The H3 font. And we are done. Let's publish this. Let's go to the Google PHP Insights and run this. Now, what I'm showing you is the before and after. Currently, we have loaded a bunch of Google fonts. And you can see from this reduced impact of third-party codes, we have this Google Fonts here. If you match all these Google Fonts, it should match the ones we have just loaded. For example, this, the Allegria Sense which you can see over here, the base font. And for this, the Alutzi font, we can see it over at the H2 font. So now we want to load all these Google fonts locally so that they will not show here. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Let's go to plugins and add new. And over at the search bar, we want to search for OMGF. And this is the plugin we need, developed by Dan from ffw.press. Let's install it and activate. And once activated, you can either go to the settings here or you can go to settings over here and then optimize Google Fonts. Now this optimization mode by default, it is manual. This is recommended for you if you know the exact number of fonts you're running on your page. So you will scan just one particular page for all the fonts used and all the local fonts used on that page will be applied to all other pages of your website. But if you are using, for example, a page builder where they have a variation of fonts loaded on everywhere on your website, you will want to select automatic so that this plugin will scan all the fonts throughout the site and you can preload them locally. So I'll select automatic to show you how it works and let's save and optimize. And as for the detection settings, you want to replace a Google font whenever it is detected. If you select to remove any detected Google fonts will fall back to the system font. So that's not what we want. So we have not done any changes. We don't need to save this. Let's go to the advanced settings. You don't want to mess with them unless you know what you are doing. Basically, this is going to create a folder on your server to store the fonts that you are going to load them locally. So we are done with this. Let's go to a new Google PageSpeed Insights and run this. 
And if we put them side by side, you can see that over here, this is before we install the plugin and over here, this is after we install the plugin. So as you can see, out of three, they have loaded two Google fonts locally. And for some reason, this plugin has not detected the Roboto font, which I'm not sure why, but anyway, this works because they have loaded the other two Google fonts locally. So awesome. This plugin works and it is completely free. Now, if you are like me who do not like to install plugins that do one function, the other option is to install a theme that has this load fonts locally function built into it. The theme I know of is Cadence WP. Even with the free version of the theme, you have this feature built in it, which is quite awesome. And if you want to get the premium version of the theme, which does a lot more, you can use this link with the code to get a 10% discount. And if you happen to know any WordPress themes that have this load fonts locally, feature built in it, feel free to share it in the comment section. Anyway, let's go to the screen. So now let me deactivate this plugin. And then on a the Google PageSpeed Insights again, let's test this on. And here we are, we can see these three Google fonts again. So now let's go to the theme customizer. Let's go to general and under performance, we want to load Google fonts locally and let's preload local fonts, flush local font files, and then let's publish this. And then over on the right, let's test this page again. And here we go again, we have loaded the two Google fonts locally and we are left with this Roboto again. So these two solutions are not foolproof, but they work. But now let me share with you why loading Google Fonts locally has little to no impact on your page speed score. So now on the WordPress dashboard again, let's go to Pages and Add New. Let's add a whole bunch of different fonts. So now I've basically loaded a bunch of Google Fonts on this blank page. Let's publish this. And then let's copy the link for this. And then let's go to the customizer. Let's toggle this off and publish. And then let's go to the Google PageSpeed Insights. Let's paste this link here. And then let's check it out. So you basically don't see any reduced third party codes here. But if you go to the past audits and you check this out, you can basically see all the Google fonts loading down here. So what does this mean? Google fonts are not the issue. It is not adding to the total blocking time. It is only when you add, for example, a YouTube video and let's update this and let's test this page again. You will see this issue pop up here with all the Google fonts here. But generally, the reason this reduced third-party codes is at the opportunities area is not caused by Google Fonts. It is only when you add resources like YouTube Embed or Google Maps, it will prompt this issue where your Google Fonts are tied to it. And I think that's probably the main reason you're looking into this solution to load fonts locally. But anyway, my recommendation to fonts is to have maybe one or two Google Fonts because number one, although it does not slow down a page per se, it does add to the page size and request if you do the test on other platforms. And secondly, having too many fonts is not good for your site's overall branding. So that's basically it. I've shared my piece on why loading Google fonts locally does not really help on Google PageSpeed Insights. It is really up to you to decide if you still want to load them locally. And if you want to do that, I've given you the resources. Anyway, if you have found value in this video, can you do me a little favor and smash that thumbs up button and do subscribe to the channel if you want to learn how to speed up your WordPress website without losing design options. You can check out these other speed optimization case studies I've done on live sites. I hope you'll learn something good for your site. All the best to you. Take care and stay safe.